We have the same expectations for all students, high expectations. So for example, in 10th grade, we offer AP European History. That's the only European History class we offer. We don't have regular, advanced, and AP. It's just AP. And we do feel that the trick is to provide the supports for the students so that they can be successful in those classes. After school tutoring, Saturday classes, the advisory program. We have about 100 to 120 tutors at any given time from UC San Diego working in our class to, to provide the support for these students. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. What are you doing? So we're providing, like, I can do, like, painting. We can provide, like, canvas okay. and stuff, and then they can do, like, guitar. Okay, we have different workshops so you're going to need to readjust your goals. And then at the end of the day, they can, like, showcase what we have. And, then and at that. the end of the day, what does that mean? Because so that it's good to know that you're at a place that a lot of people expect um, a lot from you, and they give you resources, and they expect you do well and I think that's that's a lot different from our communities just because we come from communities that don't really expect us to succeed that's the best way well how many days are you giving them a what a, a two-month course no, no. Uh, so that's why it absolutely has to be targeted uh, it's think about what your goal is uh, to inspire to encourage so go younger maybe you work with an elementary school Part of our philosophy here at the Preuss School is that we want students who are not only academically strong, but socially aware, um, able to work well with other people, and also it's part of the philosophy that we give a lot to them, and deservedly so. But part of getting a lot is in fact giving back. I, w I want to do an art night workshop type thing, but other students in my group don't think art is a problem. And we're supposed to be addressing a problem, but... Why is that relevant to a senior in high school? Again, it goes to the idea that there's a world beyond price. To be a really contributing, educated citizen means you're aware of the world around you. Do you see what I'm saying? You've got to think through every step. Every step. If you go that route, you need to redo your goals. What are, what are your objectives? What do you hope to accomplish? Students, and as you can see in our classrooms, we don't have individual desks. We have tables, and students work around four, six, eight, ten, or twelve students around each table. And in, in, in industry and in business, we, we, we don't work alone. We're not in isolation. So we are training our students to collaborate to, so that when they go to college and then go to the workforce that they will be productive members uh, of that workforce. That was one of the first things I remember hearing when I first came to the school was that the tables are placed this way for a reason and they want to encourage collaboration between students and I really like that. But We have developed the culture where college going is the expectation. Because we're a charter, there's some advantages of being a charter. But, but, but more than that, it's best practices. It, it's what we're doing in the classroom. It's what we're doing as a school. It's the culture that we've developed that is, that is what's most important. The longer year, detracking, um, providing you know, college tutors, putting, college, putting schools like this on college campuses throughout the United States, these are the things that are key to, to the success of our school.